Hello there. Welcome back to Selenium. In the previous lectures, we have learned about locators like ID, class name, etc. And in this tutorial, we are going to learn about XPath and CSS. There are multiple ways in which you can generate an XPath. We will be seeing two important ways. One, the absolute XPath and the second one is relative XPath. Let us hit the browser and check on the URL. We will be working on Salesforce. This is the official link of Salesforce. Okay. Here we will be clicking on the login button. Once we click on the login button, we will be uh, providing it with the credentials, username and password and then login. So let us begin. Right click here and inspect this element. So the in the first part, we will be dealing with the absolute X path. You have inspected an element login and uh, the here the details are highlighted. What you can do is simply right click on this highlighted data. Here you need to right click and copy and copy X path. This is the easiest way to get an X path in page like this is a one way. So let us execute it in the script driver dot find element by X path. All right and dot click so it is a button here first we will be clicking the button login button once we click on the login button it will take you to the credentials page now let us inspect the username and simply right click here and copy copy x path this is an easy way to find an x path by dot x path dot it is a text box so we need to send the data we will be sending data selenium all right now in the same way let's do for the password text box right click on the uh, highlighted path copy copy x path driver dot find element by x path i hope till now you will be having a good understanding of selenium dot send keys dot send keys a b one two three all right now the last part will be clicking on the login button Okay, right click once again, copy, copy X path. Simply driver dot find element by X path. Paste the X path that you have copied dot. It is a button click. This is a simple way to generate to get the one uh, X path, the absolute X path. We are taking the uh, path from the node. It is a node export based on data object model DOM. So we will be executing our script first and let us see what happens. All right. Let us execute our script. It has, it will hit the URL now. Something is missing. Oh yeah, we are we forgot to mention the URL. Sorry, driver dot get. Let us get the URL. What was it? S Salesforce. This was the URL. All right. I am doing it in real time. So. Uh, I can also make mistakes. Right click and run as Java application. Now the browser has executed the Salesforce website. It will click on the login. Great. Yes, it has executed our script correctly. Uh, obviously it will not log in because because the credentials are wrong 
Now in the second part, we will be dealing with the relative x part. Let me first comment out this code. We will be using absolute relative x path now. So to understand the relative x path, first you need to understand the syntax of x path. That is double slash. It means relative. With the help of this double slash means you can pick any attribute at any place in the path. This is the beauty of x path. You don't need to get the x uh, extended uh, x path. This trick, this syntax is used in real time projects. So first is tag name. This is a syntax. All right. Then add the rate of attribute and one value. We have to pick one value. This is the syntax of x path. How you can generate a dynamic x path, relative x path. So let us go back to the website Salesforce. All right. Now let us go back here. We should go to the home page. Click on the login button here once again. All right. This is a login button. This time we will be picking either class or data tog toggle. Let's pick data toggle. All right. So what does our syntax say? It says double slash tag name. Tag name is a href anchor tag. All right. Now the syntax at the rate of give one attribute. Attribute is data toggle. All right. Data toggle is equal to and the value of data toggle is drop down. Drop down. That's it. That is the absolute x path. Sorry, relate to x path. Okay. Now, if you want to verify, as I mentioned in my earlier sections, I will show you a trick. Just copy this, or you can also write here. Con press Control F. Press Control F, and one search bar will hit here. Just copy here. Now you see it has highlighted this portion. It means our x path is correct. If you just remove one keyword, it will give an error because it is not finding the expected results. So let us copy this and use it in our code. All right, driver dot find element by x path. Dot click. All right, guys. Now once we have clicked inside we can use username and here the same syntax we will use so let me just replace data toggle with this time we will be using type sorry and the at attribute and the value is email all right now we will check it here once again something is missing and what is missing at the rate of oh once again this time we are using anchor tag but it is input tag see how beautiful is it how the how we can get features that can find error in just a second we don't need to use any extensions or plugins this is the beauty of using the search option all right let us paste it in the code now driver dot find element by dot x path once more All right. Now we have to send data. This is a text box and we will be sending kingdom. All right. Now let's do the same with the password. Here we will be choosing type type is equal to 
password this we are dealing with expats right now customized expats all right let's let's check it here that's it is here i think input yeah it's here input tag you can see it's input tag here right and we forgot at the rate of let us check it once again here all right this is the correct one so let us use it driver dot find element by expa dot send keys one two three all right now the last portion is clicking on the login button it is also having the same id login let's use this time uh, name all right at the rate of name name is the attribute the value is uh, value is login and the tag is input that's correct let's check once more guys trust me if you practice this it will be very easy if you guys are facing any issues please mention in the comments i'll be helping you guys so uh this is correct now let us use it in the program driver dot find element by xpath dot click all right so let us execute this test let me close this browser and this time we will be closing the browser also driver dot close all right let me just add a tape uh, at some time so that you can see the execution driver dot sleep for two seconds all right guys so let me execute the test chrome has started screen is maximized the execution is completed you see and if the browser is closed so this way we have achieved uh, xpath you can trust me you can master xpath if you just practice with this logic you don't need any plugins or any extensions it is just a matter of time until you grab the concept of xpath guys if you find this video helpful consider subscribing and share the link among your friends if you are facing any queries with the xpath or anything else you can mention the queries in the comments and i'll be pleased to help you thank you and stay tuned for latest updates